Yeah, fuck politics, man. Yeah. Like, literally, that's feckless. I'm telling you, I'm on my kindness conspiracy. As long as I'm kind to people, like, if, if we live by an ethic of kindness, if we foster trust amongst each other, it will matter less what corporations and politicians say because we'll be able to trust our society's cohesiveness. Yeah. But if you politicize these things, it's going to be very, it's going to become increasingly difficult to come to an understanding or an agreement. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. And I think it's just, it's so difficult when people get attached to whatever political party they are, they're in. It's very difficult for them to disagree with that party and so easy for them to go along with it and then so easy for them to hate the people that are opposed to it, the people that are on the other party. It's such a binary thing. It's so dumb. It's also a cold thing to do in front of all of us. Yeah. Because I don't think people feel that way. No, most people don't. No. But when we're talking in groups, that's when it gets weird. Right. We're talking in tribes. Yeah, it's, it's getting tribal here. I don't know. More but you than know ever what's before. funny? I, I don't even really know what you political politically believe or don't believe, but I, who gives a fuck? I get along with you every time I see you. I know you're funny. I know you're a nice dude. We laugh about shit. We learn shit from each other. We You're from Boston. I'm from D.C. It's very, two very different types of places and types of cultures. But this culture of comedy, this common denominator, uh, makes me feel like we're of the same tribe. For sure. And there's trans people in my tribe, and there's white and black and Asian and all kinds of people, and all of them are committed to, to this concept of levity, and we all get there different and interesting and unique ways. And, and what's wrong with that? It works. And we say terrible shit to each other <laughs> all the fucking time. Everyone's fine. 